Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. And in today's video, I want to show you some new tools that we added to our software called Questify. And this is for local researchers. Now, although we have all these options here that you can use for keyword research, which normally would require you using multiple different tools and multiple different subscriptions, Questify starts off at just $12 a month based on how often you need to use it. So you can check that out at questify.com. You can see everything you can do here. But today we're going to be looking at the local research options found here. And I'm going to show you how you can use these to create different types of website and content that you can use to bring in for local marketing, pay per call campaigns, or any other type of online marketing that you do. The first thing we're going to look at is the search cities. And what this tool would do is start with the cities that are the closest and then it'll go out finding them further and further away. So if we tick this option, it's going to take us in here and let's just give it a campaign name. We're just going to do Cleveland, for example, for the zip code. We're going to do the 44104 and then we're going to limit to how many cities we want it to give us. So if we do 100, it's going to start with the closest cities and then it's going to branch out and keep going further and further until it reaches 100. So let's go ahead and create this one. And it's going to take us back to our list of campaigns. You can see where I did a few others here already. But this one here now is running. It's in progress of 0 of 100 in queue. While it's doing that, let's jump over and do another campaign. For this one, we're going to search for services. So if we tick this box, this is going to give us a list of services that industries provide. So let's just say for an example, you're wanting to promote plumbers, but you don't know what all services plumbers provide. This is going to give you that list. So first, we're just going to give it the campaign name of plumbers. For the service provider, we're going to put in plumber. And we're just going to do a hundred. This should be plenty. And we're going to click on create. It takes us back to our campaigns. We can see the first campaign we did with Cleveland for searching cities is complete. Let's go ahead and jump into that one. And we're going to scroll down and here you can see the list of a hundred of the cities that were closest to the zip code that we entered as they branch out and go further away. Now, what we can do with this list is we can select just individual cities or we can select all of them. We can export them. We can copy them. If you're a subscriber to AI Wise Mind, we have a little button here that'll take you straight over to your campaigns where you can set up campaigns to create content based around these cities. And you can also click these little icons here to learn more about them. So if you want to do a search on Google for Cleveland, you could click this. There's Amazon, YouTube, and also Google Trends. Jumping back over to our campaigns, you can see here that the search services campaign has been finished. Let's look at it. And if we scroll down, we can see all these options here. So we got drain cleaning, leak detection, pipe repair, faucet installation, this one here. So I used to do a lot of local marketing for pay per call campaigns. And these ones here would do very well for the simple fact that you have a lot of people who are elderly or just don't do this kind of stuff at all. They don't even have tools. And so they will pay someone to install a faucet for them. You have things like toilet repair, water heater installation, boiler repair, and all these you can see down through here that maybe you don't think about that could be possible content for articles or videos and helping to drive a lot more traffic to your own plumbing service, to a client's plumbing service, or if you're doing some kind of marketing or affiliate marketing for a plumbing service. Now, if we jump back over to campaign, we can see we have two more options here, one for search local places and one for things to do. So let's say maybe you're more into the travel side of marketing and you want to find local places in certain areas or you want to find things to do in certain areas. And that's what these options here are great for. Now, even if you don't do marketing based upon local attractions or anything like that, you can still use these as ways to get extra content for your website or for whatever it is you're doing just to bring in more traffic through alternative keywords. So let's go ahead and click on search local places. We'll give this a name and we're just going to title this one Chicago again. We'll do a hundred and we'll just do the city of Chicago. But over here, you can see you can also choose your country and then the language and click on create. And we're taken back to our campaigns where this is starting to run. So let's go ahead and click on a new campaign. Things to do. And for this one, we're also going to do Chicago and click on create. 
while these two are running, let's jump back over to the campaigns again, cause I want to show you that even though we have all these local research options, you got other things here that you can do such as niche research, keyword competition, uh, keyword competition, custom keywords. And what this is, is where you can paste in your own list of keywords to get competition data. And if you just do the keyword competition, it will actually find keywords based on your main keyword and show you the competition data for it. And then you can also see the most popular 1000 keywords along with their data. And then you can extract keywords such as people also ask. This is huge because if you want to know what people are asking questions about, say for things to do in Chicago, you can grab all of these up to date questions that are in Google and use those as additional content for your websites or your videos or your social media sites to build content around. Now we do have tools down here at the bottom. These are actually free tools that do not require any additional credits. And you can see here we have a, a duplicate remover. We have a domain name finder. And then we have this keyword combiner tool, which can be very beneficial to local marketers. And I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and jump back to our campaigns and see if they're done. They are. So we'll first we'll do the search local places. And if we scroll down, it gives us a list of all these local places in Chicago that people can visit, that we can get more content on, more ideas on, and we can do more research on these. And then finally, if we jump back to the things to do in Chicago, we actually have these to show up in a way where they can be used as article titles. So this one here, the Art Institute of Chicago, we have it so where it shows admire masterpieces at the Art Institute of Chicago or the Marine Life at Shedd Aquarium. Uh, you got here and see, take the skyline views from, you got Willis Tower Sky Deck and we have this as take in skyline views from Willis Tower Sky Deck. So these titles can be used exactly the way they are in creating content. And so if you do use AI Wise Mind, you could actually tick this box, tick AI Wise Mind. It will throw every one of these titles into a campaign and create a fully SEO optimized article about every one of these for you. And then even auto post it on your WordPress websites. Now, the last thing I want to show you is we'll jump back to campaign and let's do the search cities. We'll go ahead and click here. And what I want to do is go ahead and grab these first 50 cities that we pulled here a while ago. I want to copy them. And then we're going to go back to campaigns. We're going to do a new campaign and come down to keyword combiner. And then here we're going to paste all of these in here. And then we're going to give the campaign name of plumber. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and add either a prefix or a suffix that we can add to this entire list. So we could say best and then plumber and then click on create. We'll give this just a second to complete and then we'll go into it. Scroll down and here you can see the best Cleveland plumber, the best Westlake plumber. And so you can do this with all of your keywords and adding different prefixes, different suffixes. You can add one. You don't have to add both just to give you more unique ways of creating content. So if you want to learn more about this tool, you can go directly to questify.com. I'll put that link below the video. You can see here all the different things that you can do with it. And then we break it down and explain more into how each one of these types of campaigns work and what you can use them for with your online business. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more about these types of tools and how we use them for our online businesses, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and we'll see you on the next one.